and we're only here. We are at setup day at Dunstall Racecourse for revival, game not over. And my boy, Mr. Adder is here. Let's go. Here we go. We are slowly getting there with the setup. Slowly getting there with the setup. And day one begins. We are expected there to be about, uh, about eight o'clock. We are on our way, as you can tell. And uh, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at my booth. We're gonna showcase some amazing gameplay. And uh, yeah, here we go. Welcome in everybody, here we are at Dunstall Racecourse, we are at Retro Revival Game Not Over 2024. I am Mark here bros and we are going to head inside and show you exactly what we're looking at. Good morning people. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And the blues that I had in my desk was like So I don't know if you can see all of our posters are sliding down the wall. Yeah, no, no. Okay. We've got some prototype versions of consoles here. So we've got the test modules, we've got the Sony version of the uh, UMD players and stuff like that. Uh, we've got tables filled with cons consoles like Echo the Dolphin on. That is an interesting answer. No type of consoles, Neo Geos. Some great people fitting and playing on consoles with that. More tables of little pop sticks. That's a visual boy. He is. And we've got the man that's made it all happen, Mr. Craig Turner, Mr. Revival himself. Huge thank you to the man for allowing me to be here and do this event. It's super awesome. But let's continue looking. This, uh, this is the booth for Mr. Donald Pleasance. He was the managing director for Commodore. And he, he's got uh, a couple of books out if you want to learn a little bit more about his time at Commodore and how he got to be. Then uh, definitely go and check him out. There's just games everywhere, it's awesome. Pick up your classics. Oh my god, they've got a Game Boy Pokemon Special Edition. Look at that. We've even got. Oh, you know, I've never seen that before. How cool is that? The elusive green crystal Xbox. And a smattering of. That's just a smattering of N64 consoles. Wondrous fire that is. <laughs> some awesome traders. So if you need games, um, I'm gonna try and find. Oh, there we go. So this is a company called Light Gun Retro Gaming. Um, they have a bunch of everything really. They've got a lot of uh, stuff that you've never seen before, obviously. Um, oh, they've even got Pokemon cards here. Ooh! Ooh! Is that Dark Blasters? I need to have a look for a card for the wife. And she loves Ninetales. I'm going to ask them to see if they've actually got it later. 
before somebody else comes in and takes takes control of it. Yo, look at these! Look at these! Ooh, baby! Look at that Sonic 2, dude. That's crazy. Well, I've even got you, girl. And Lorcana. That's cool. We've got, uh... We've got disc plates here with Altered Beast. The wrestling and I'm not sure what they are, but they look real cool. Um, some more wonderful stores. I need to have a look at the Batman game that's just on there. And then we've got Kasumi Ninja um, Ian Magrana and Angus Magrana. Oh, Angus McGregor and Ian Magrana um, are here and they're going to be talking a little later I believe um, well yeah we've got a whole nother room to go let's do it okay some more yesterday there was a guy at this table wonder who that could be <laughs> oh there's a C5 a Sinclair C5 it's a ride on uh, there was a guy here yesterday with backlit uh, consoles and modded consoles and stuff like that. Like a Dreamcast with a HDMI port. Can you believe it? Awesome guys over at Restaurant Gaming Roundup. The center of your retro gaming universe. <laughs> We're wall neighbors, I'm just behind this one. <laughs> We've got a smattering of pinball machines, look at these, in full action. We'll try, we'll try and see what <laughs> This one. That's an old one. Pinball machines here. Like, it's not even like. You know, I know a guy that loves that movie. I'm gonna link him to this video. And, um, yeah, he, he loves this movie so much. Launch. That's so cool. Onwards. Cool little feature here. We've got Sinclairs and Spectrums all down here. This is a, a stereo with Batman being played on it with a Sinclair uh, keyboard. Really cool. Do you remember these? This is like a huge SD card, everybody. It only takes 1.44 meg of data. What? That's not even a picture. I know, but it's fine. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. So we've got the first actual official Revival Survival, which is a, a machine, and it's actually signed by, I'm guessing, all the people that actually worked on it. Let's turn this brightness down a little bit. Um, which is really, really cool. We've got a bunch of arcade machines, like Pac-Man and Double Dragon. We've got a magazine company here that deal with Amiga, I think. Oh. Some more wonderful consoles. Oh, there's a Nez. Rocket Man, well, Rock Man, which is uh, a Mega Man variant. And then old Atari 57, 52? 57? 52. I don't know where I got the X from. But a uh, bunch of stores with games. I don't think I can see a name. Um, 
Yeah, just, look at this. You want to you, you want to take a look in this box? Look at this Atari. Uh, 64. Just goes on, man. Look at it. So cool. These guys are awesome. <laughs> More arcade machines. So, this is Retro Rome. They're coming to a town called Warsaw. Um, and they're opening up a shop. An actual old school retro arcade kind of place where you pay on the door, you go in, free reign. There's no coins on the machine for next turn, none of that stuff. It's just. Uh, Play, play what you're, a little bit like today, really. A little bit like today, which in turn you pay on the door and you've got access to everything on the tables. You don't need no heavy bag of coins. There's no arm up next. I'm gonna put my 10 on. <laughs> There's none of that. But this is Retro Realm. They're gonna be uh, coming to a town in the West Midlands. Uh, I've been invited to the opening day. Uh, and there may be other adventures to be had in regards to that, but I'm, I can't really say much at this point because we need to work out the details. So I will let you know. Okay, I'll let you know. Some more awesome hit. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Flickering because of the frame rate of the screen. Closing at 12. No! <laughs> these are cool. Ooh, I remember these. I'll do a little pan for you. Actually, we need to start down here. We almost missed that 64 then. There's a joke to be had and I can't explain it on camera, or I will. <laughs> I needed a capture card yesterday. Oh, <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll be back in a <laughs> We've got APET Master handmade steel cases for modern and classic computers. Um, these are cool. I know a guy that would absolutely love this because he's a tinkerer of sorts. Uh, same guy that would like the Johnny Mnemonic. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole... Oh, what are these? These! A whole bunch of uh, parts and stuff for old... I'd say old. Oh, they are now. Commodore, Sinclair, parts and stuff like that. Um, so if you need these parts for your stuff, like the modules, the RAM modules, and the personal printers and stuff, Speak to these guys. Um, I said these are right there. Can you pick those up? And we're gonna move on and show you the rest of this event because the best part is coming up. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are. Okay, so for all you wonderful people out there that like the R type games, remember R type? That's all you need to see to understand what I'm on about. But this is a wonderful company that have created a game. Uh, is it Taris Xavier or is it TX? TX 1696. Okay, so it's Taris Xavier 1696. Yeah, yeah, that's the story of the game. I'm not going to spoil that for you. You have to get the game to understand. But the game is TX. So this is heavily influenced by uh, R-Type, as you can see, this is a game. game. Uh, 
really interesting because the person that you may have heard there is actually the sound designer for this game. Uh, he created this wonderful gentleman here. He created the soundboard for this game and a smattering of other titles that you may or may not have heard of. Um, but if you're interested in the game, that's where it's called, you can pick it up. Uh, you can pick it up for £35 only with the revival card. Uh, but you can also pick up the music score uh, when it's on hand. It's on pre-order, so you better hurry up. Um, but this is a company called Technoship Software. They created this game, and this wonderful gentleman created the, the audio track. So thank you very much, man. <laughs> Where can the, is it technoshedsoftware.com? Yeah, it is. Technoshedsoftware.com. Um, the creators, Patricia Curtis, she um, basically got the game through the years, so she added to the uh, CD3, two versions, then on two, for instance, um, and Turtles for the Atari. And That's so she did some great 90s titles, so she's the main code on this. I've done the audio code and, and the music goes with it. That's awesome, man. It's a pleasure. I'll awesome. come and chat with you in a bit. Yeah, I need, I need to, to talk more about music. <laughs> <laughs> And here we are, I wonder whose booth this is. I wonder who, I've got to save me till the end because everybody else needs a, a good look at this. Whose booth is this, you reckon? If you need your controllers repairing, I highly suggest you run the QR code on that. I'll try and get it a little closer. There you go. Um, but this. It's speed running. This is a guy that you might know. It's me. <laughs> and we've got Mr. Adder. He's only come into the... F he's in person. It's weird, right? He's normally behind the screen on Discord and streaming and calls and stuff, but... So, control screen, hotspot. We've got a seating area for people to come and uh, enjoy. And steal your chairs. More and more chairs have been stolen and I'm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but we've got... Uh, I'm running on a PS4, which is crazy, right? You wouldn't anticipate me playing on PlayStation 4. But we have merchandise. There are still some merchandise left. So if you are in need of a shirt from medium to 3XL, let me know. There's even a cap left. Um, let me know and I will be happy to sort out shipping and stuff like that with you as long as limited stocks last. But we are on the big screen. I'm going to be running two shows today. Hopefully, Ada's going to be running a run of Village. Um, and uh, yeah, this has been Mark here, bros, boys, and girls, and ladies, and in between us. And this has been a really, really cool event. Massive thank you to the event for having me. A humongous thank you to Mr. Ada for the running of the tech and the chat and the streams and being here and he's traveled the long way for this and uh it's been awesome man we've just we smashed it we smashed it yesterday we smashed it today today's our last day finally uh, say finally unfortunately uh, it's the final day I'm kind of sad really i kind of want to be here forever <laughs> but uh yeah welcome to revival